Hi class! Today, we are going to learn how to create multimedia presentations. In this lesson, you were expected to use the advanced features of a slide presentation tool to create a multimedia presentation with text, graphics, photos, and videos. A multimedia presentation is interesting to the audience because it allows them to see pictures and hear sounds. There are many software available which you can use to create such presentation. Some of them are MS PowerPoint, WPS Office Presentation, and Google Slides. MS PowerPoint or Microsoft PowerPoint is a software that is very useful in presenting information. In fact, it is among the most popular tools used in training sessions, meetings, and other gatherings. WPS Office Presentation It is 100% compatible with MS PowerPoint. Presentation supports both PPT and PPTX files. This means you can open and edit presentations from others and then save them from WPS Office knowing others will be able to open them without any issues. Google Slides Google Slides is a presentation program included as part of the free-based Google Docs Editor Suite offered by Google. Multimedia presentations, such as those created with the use of those software, are very good visual aids in presenting your ideas. You and your classmates would surely prefer lessons with multimedia presentations over lectures. Now, let's try to create a multimedia presentation using Microsoft PowerPoint. First step is to open your Microsoft PowerPoint. Then, you will see this on your screen. To make an empty slide with no background template, just simply click the white blank slide on the template. Otherwise, you can choose your preferred template just like what you see here on my screen. And now, this is the workplace of your PowerPoint. It may seem a little different from the desktop app because I am using a browser, but if you are using a desktop app, this is how it looks like. Going back, let us be familiarized with the environment of the PowerPoint. At the top left corner of your screen is where you can see the Quick Access Toolbar. This is where you can save the presentation, undo, redo, and play the slideshow from the beginning. Next is the Title Bar. At the top center of your screen is the title bar. The title bar is the name of your presentation file. This area is what we call the ribbon. Ribbon contains command to edit, add text, pictures, shapes, animations, and many more. Next is the outline pane. Outline pane used to provide the overview of your presentation. Next is Slide Pane. Slide Pane is the area where you can put the text, pictures, videos, graphics, and many more. Now that you are already familiar with the environment of the PowerPoint, let's try to add some text, pictures, videos, and graphic organizer. Let us first try to add text. Just click this part and add your title. You can also add subtitle if you want. You can also change the color and format of your text using the editing tools on the ribbon. If you're already satisfied with your design, you can now proceed to adding new slide. To make your next slide, Go back to the Home tab and select New Slide. The Facet Trap Town will appear. 
It is where you can choose your desired layout. On this slide, I will add a photo from my computer. But before that, I will just add title for this slide. Now that I'm done, I'm going to add a photo in this area. This icon will allow you to add photo from your computer. Well, this icon lets you search image from the stack images of the Microsoft PowerPoint. Now, let's add a photo from our computer. You can insert more than one photo and add the signs such as borders and shadows using the picture tools. Now, let's try to insert the video on the next slide. To insert the video, either simply click on the insert video icon or go to the insert tab and click video under media group. You can choose to use a video in your files or get the add effects in your presentation. That would be all for today. This is Teacher Han. Thank you for watching.